Hi there, Moira MacDonald. I um, have a junk journal for you. I've been missing an action, so to speak, for quite a wee while. Um, it, well, part of the time was um, trying to get this together. The rest of the time, I have to say, was me sleeping, mostly. <laughs> um, so I'm really sorry for being away for a while, but I'm back like a bad smell. And I have a nice wee junk journal for you. Um, hopefully you like it. it. truly is the old traditional chunky bunky. Oops, something fell off. Oh, aye, that's because that's not stuck to anything. Right. Um, let's go through it and I'll explain to you what I've done. Uh, it is a book which I have gutted. Um, I used Marie Blundell's tutorial on how to cover a book with a napkin, only I didn't use napkin, I used a pattern tissue paper that I got in TK Maxx, I think it's TJ Maxx in America. Um, on the front here I have a shabby chic rosette that was made by my very special friend Lisa Owen. Uh, thank you very much Lisa. Lisa has her own YouTube channel. She does a variety of different um, crafts uh, but she does do junk journals as well and if you get the opportunity you should check out her channel because she's very very good. So it's Lisa Owen. Um, the book itself gutted the book uh, which in itself leaves the spine very very weak. So I've used craft text and I have to say I'm not entirely happy with it. Um, I mean it's 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 fine but I feel craft text itself is very very rigid and as a result the book's somewhat stiff when it comes to going inside but you can have a look at it and judge how you feel. I've got a napkin round the spine again and a variety of different wee bits and bobs. Some lace here and a wee ribbon. Uh, this is Shrunk Down Ephemera from Tsunami Rose. This was an image I got on Pinterest. She's actually printed on um, acetate and I put a piece of uh, cream cardstock behind her so that it, if it had been the floral paper she would have looked like she had really bad acne. Um, so I put cream coloured card behind her and then I just die cut a wee frame in pink and used a, I think it's fire brick distress oxide to colour up the edges and put a little a satin cream ribbon in the top there. This is a wee kind of resin type a embellishment here with a wee clock on it. Right so we'll have a wee quick look inside. Um, I retained this um, uh, simply because I thought it, it, it gave it a nice touch and a nice bit of age. It's two James from Audrey from Lundudno, 1950. Lundudno's in Wales. Uh, it's probably pronounced Landudno, uh, but I'm no Welsh, so Landudno too, from me. Uh, although if anybody had been saying something Scottish and mispronounced it, I'd be absolutely raging. So I'm really sorry if I've got any Welsh viewers. <laughs> It is Hlinda, no, as far as I'm aware. Uh, got to assume that uh, maybe James has shuffled off the mortal coil by now since he got this book in 1950. Uh, so that's, what, quite a quite a number of years ago. It's, it's older than me, put it like that. Right, so, you'll see what I mean here. This is, this is the craft text here that I've used and I stuck it to that. So it does tend to make it look as if that's standing up but you can press the book flat if you want to, to use it in that respect for writing. This is a page that I created uh, digitally. It's just kind of like as if it was coffee stained and it's aged paper. Uh, it's I just found it so much easier than trying to tea dye a page. Likewise over the other side it's, it's a different paper but again digitally created by myself. This is one of these Franken pages that uh, Nick the Booksmith taught us all about and again I haven't sewn it. I used uh, glue to stick the pieces together and then went over them with washi tape and the ephemera on these pages is shrunk down Tsunami Rose stuff. That's a wee sticker I had of the Eiffel Tower. 
old book page here. This book page is from what Katie did and it was part of Happy Mail that I got from another very good friend, Anne Porter from Liverpool. Anne doesn't have a YouTube channel but she I met Anne through Instagram and she's lovely. Very, very lovely person. Um, she primarily makes cards but she's had a wee dabble with the junk journals and she's very, very good. So if you're on Instagram, it's... Uh, oh, what is it? Gosh, I'll need to look her up, and I'm, but I'll try and write it down below the, the thing. Okay, um, here I did, it's not paper ruffle, it's just part of the scrapbooking paper that I used and I just did a zigzag stitch down it and then stuck it onto the page. Over here I have used, uh, this is from a magazine that I got from the lovely Edwina Kinch. Thank you very much, Edwina. Still using it. Not It's one of the pages from the music magazine, but it's one of the stories that was within that magazine. Um, again, some ephemera from Tsunami Rose, some laces. This is just a wee stamped image. Uh, I can't even remember. I think it might be stamped. It's, might be Stampendous or Stampers Anonymous, I'm not sure. Um, some music paper and a piece of scrapbooking paper that I cut using uh, a punch from, what's her name? Martha Stewart. Scrapbooking paper is from uh, Stamperia. Uh, I can't remember what the name of the kit was, but I've used a few pages throughout here. There's another section of that. This is composition paper that I bought, I think I bought this, um, probably from WH Smith. Here we've got a paper ruffle, well it's it's tissue ruffle and it's the uh, Tim Holtz tissue paper and I've just sewn that in a zigzag stitch. Doily, this doily came from, see the number of folk that have gave me stuff for this journal? This doily came from uh, Vera Yuk. And Vera was the first winner of my, well, she wasn't the first winner, she was the winner of my first giveaway. And uh, she very kindly sent me a wee thank you and within it was this doily and a variety of other wee things that will be popping up in my future work. Thank you very much, Vera. Uh, another piece of that, Stamperia scrapbooking paper. Here I have done a little uh, fold-down pocket. Um, who is it now that does those? It's not a Patricia Pocket, it's... Gosh, oh, she speaks to me. Oh, aye, it's, uh, I keep going to Grand Maurice. It's uh, Rita Donnelly. A Rita Donnelly fold. Um, I've never done a Rita Donnelly fold before. This is my first one. So thank you very much, Rita, for showing us how to do those. Um, I stamped Be Yourself on it and a couple of wee flowers. Inside we've got a guest check which came from Crafty Irina and a, a tag that I did in a style of Tracy Fox. She did the video where she used a napkin to decoupage onto card, then um, embossed, dry embossed it and went over it with a little bit of a, what do you call it, distress ink just to kind of highlight the embossing. You can see on that side and I used, I've got a die, it's a, I think it might be a, it's a Sizzix die, it's a big die to cut uh, index cards, Rolodex cards should I say, so I just used that for that. The page itself I have done using the uh, Izzy B Craft Creations on YouTube, 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 um, she did a video where she was doing a a junk journal, a nature themed junk journal and she'd done her page in shades of uh, green and browns and whatever um, using distress ink, squirting water on it then running the paper through it and just having it stained so that's what I did, only I did it I wanted to kind of brighten this up because I, I, I really like the tea staining and coffee staining paper but the problem is it does tend to get a bit drab looking and I, I do like bright colours so I did that by way of uh, kind of brightening things up a wee bit to go with the scrapbooking paper I was using. Right, here we've got a Patricia pocket and inside I think it's just a bit of tea stained paper. Uh, it's a floating pocket 
and this wee bit down here is from one of those guest checks. My little um, closure here is held on just with glue dots, so I don't think uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't batter it about if it probably it could be glued I think without any difficulty, but I didn't want to glue it initially because I was a bit worried that I might use so much glue I wouldn't be able to open the envelope. Um, but it's a couple of book pages that are stuck together and then sewed round the edges. Right, scrapbooking paper here. Another book page. Here is a piece of ledger paper that I tea stained and another one of the cut-offs from Stamperia paper. Another page that I just made using a variety of uh, layered features and I've left this so that you can uh, write on the book. Hold on, I saw a wee bit of fluff there. Right. It's quite a few pages like this. Um, I just thought it added a bit more interest to it, to have something. Again, you can write here, there's not enough a lot of writing room in that particular page. This wee rosette is one of those rosettes from, it's a Tim Holtz Sizzix die um, that just comes to let you cut the shape and then you fold it together and glue it down. A couple of wee bits of lace there and this piece at the bottom is vellum that I've printed off. Uh, another different type of Patricia pocket and in this one I have, uh, this is a rice paper decoupage, it's very dark. Uh, that was from a napkin that I decoupaged on top of the decoupage um, and it's just on plain card for scrap, you know, if you want to make any additional notes. A wee bit of uh, Tsunami Rose shrunk down ephemera and a little lace heart and a wee piece of uh, diamante bling here. Fabric ruffle on this side. Sewed the fabric and then just glued it onto the page. And again, this is a page that I have, I think I sprayed this one with, uh, not Tattered Angels, what's the other stuff called? Lindy's Stamp Gang. So it's it's got a wee sheen to it. Because I like, I like brightness and I like, uh, well, I like glittery stuff. Because, you know, I'm a bit of a magpie. Um, this is the centre of the first signature and what I've done here is I've actually run lace down the signature so that you don't see any of the threads themselves that tied th this on. The main reason for doing this was the second sign oh, sorry, the second signature in this book I thought at one point was going to die from multiple stab wounds. Um, I don't know what came over me but I managed to pierce all the holes in the wrong places so I had to subsequently uh, do second lots of holes. And I thought this really looks pretty grim, but I don't want to have to go through making all these papers again. So what I did was I ran the lace down the centre and it covers it up because it's really only in the centre of the signature that, it, that you could see it. Um, so I thought the lace was it, it, quite a, a different touch. I don't, I don't think I've seen anybody else doing that. Uh, so I might well be the, you, you know, there might be folks starting doing Moira laces. I don't know. We'll see. Probably not. <laughs> right, um, another one of the Rita Donnelly flips here. A wee piece of ephemera here, just, um, it was a scrapbooking set I bought recently. Can't remember who it was that made it, um, but it was just some uh, wee cutouts. This is another um, tag that I made myself. It's dry embossed, sprayed with Lindy Stamp Gang, and then a variety of uh, layers added to it. Hopefully you can see the wee bit sheen. And here I did a Tracy Fox uh, tag, where she's got the two tags. A uh, wee bit stamping at the back there. Hold on a minute. <laughs> a misty morning does not signify a cloudy day. And that's very true. Uh, so there you go, that's decoupage napkin. And that one I did the dry embossing on it after it. And the wee music pocket at the bottom. So thanks very much Tracy Fox for showing us how to do those ones. Uh, another fabric ruffle here on a piece of pink kind of parchment type paper. And here's an Amity Bloom 
style envelope. There's nothing in this envelope at the moment. Um, although there won't be anything put in the envelope by myself. But again, it's, it's a good size if you're wanting to uh, keep any wee records of anything. And I've just dry embossed the bottom, went over it with a couple of different distress inks, then used some uh, rubbing buff to bring up the gold bits. And a wee bit of lace ephemera stuck on, lace ephemera, lace stuck on top. Then the ephemera here is just a, a tag of a map and a wee globe that I stamped and an Austrian stamp in the corner. Got a wee bit of lace around the top and some little pearls. And same little pearls are down the bottom here on top of a wee fabric cutout. Another book page that came from my very good friend Anne Porter. This is, uh, that was a digital image that I created myself. Crafty individual stamp, uh, scrapbooking paper, decoupage napkin on uh, a bit book page, just cut in a circle, a couple of different laces and a shrunk down ephemera from uh, St. Annie Rose. Oops. I don't know if this one's got a sheen to it. Yeah, it has. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's kind of purpley sheen on that one. That's another franking page there. And that's the end of the first signature with the digital paper that I made of a tea stain paper. Into the second signature, and we've got music paper here. Um, another page that I've decorated by layering. This wee section here, you can still uh, do some journaling on. Another Franken page on this side. Used a stencil here, and then sprayed with uh, some Lindy Stamp Gang. This is, I suppose it's a tag that I made myself. I used a variety of stamps that I got fairly recently. I think they were Tim, were they Tim Holtz? No, they were Seven Gypsies. A set of Seven Gypsies stamps. These were also Seven Gypsies, um, but they came with a set of dies. So I cut those and uh, stuck them on. A little piece of um, cheesecloth at the back, and this is a wee button. It looks metal, but it was, I think it was plastic. And that's Ephemera from a Tsunami Rose again. And this wee pocket says Be Bold, and it's another Rita Donnelly pocket. Another one of these pockets here. And what I've got is a book page with some, uh, what do you call it on it? Napkin, decoupage, and on the back, some brown card for note-taking. I put some wee metal corners on this one here um, that are the same sort of material as the, the centre holding. Another one of the pages where I've left this is a piece of note paper that I uh, used distress ink for just to dye it up, and a variety of laces and some tsunami rose uh, ephemera again that's been shrunk down. There's a book. Oh, it's not a book page. It's another one of uh, the sections from that magazine that Edwina gave me. A couple of stamped images here that again were die cut. Hoping you can see the sheen on this, but I'm not sure because I can't see my camera very well. That wee piece of bling came from Lisa Owen again. Um, looked really nice and went pretty well with a different couple of laces there. And you can obviously journal down the bottom of that section. Here's the 
uh, second signature. Um, this is the one that gave me all the bother. And again, there's the lace down the centre. You'll see yourself. I mean, the lace doesn't show anything. Um, and it holds, it makes it secure enough as well. Uh, another page I assembled myself. It's a wee ticket with some decoupage on it and then distressed. And a little bit of an inadvertent uh, Lindy Stamp Gang spray on it, I have got to say. Uh, another fabric ruffle on this side here. Another Patricia pocket. A wee bit of ephemera and a heart. Lace heart again and some pearls. Another one of the wee cut parts that I got in the ephemera. And another tag that I made by dry embossing, squirting with... Um, Lindy Stamp Gang and in fact that wasn't Lindy Stamp Gang now that I come to think about it that was, uh, you know how um, Gail did a, a tutorial recently on Brushos and Brusho, the company themselves I, I can't remember what they're called hold on a minute, I'll check Colourcraft they're a British company they do these acrylic shimmer sprays um, and that's the turquoise one and I think that's oh, where was my page? I've lost it uh, that's what I used on that was the turquoise uh, Got I had some turquoise uh, lace that I used at the bottom a wee bit book page there that's washi tape, washi tape and an image I cut out and another piece of ephemera from Tsunami Rose Another one of the Amity Bloom style uh, envelopes. Um, this one's quite decorated. It's got a wee piece of material here and uh, this little floral, sort of lacy floral here that's crocheted. That was again given to me by Lisa Owen. Um, lacy heart and a little kind of resin type cameo. Stamped a wee mini stamp of a postcard. Tsunami Rose Ephemera and an old Belgian stamp and the envelope itself was uh, dry embossed. I went over it with uh, vintage photo distress ink and then some rub and buff just to bring up uh, a wee bit of gold and give it a wee bit of sheen. Because you know me, I'm, I'm quite classy, I like my sheen. Uh, another page I did some um, collaging on. And here we have the last of the pockets, which was another Rita Donnelly. Uh, this is cut from a book. You, you'll you have seen the book before. I've used it in a number of um, tags that I made. Uh, the book itself wasn't paper. It, it was The pages were card. Um, so I just cut out a wee fairy image. I went round the edge very lightly with vintage photo and stuck on a wee piece of ephemera that was shrunk down from Tsunami Rose. If you want to use that, you would need to uh, maybe stick something on the back to, to write. Another tag that's dry embossed, sprayed with different ones of these brushes, acrylic shimmer. They came in a set of six. Um, I think it was, there was gold, copper colour, um, there is a there's turquoise and there's blue and I think there's a kind of red one as well. Um, just die cut a shape here and stamped a couple of different wee images and wee metal key. A wee bit lace down the bottom and another one of the Tracy Fox style pockets. And the wee tag again is dry embossed, uh, as did Tracy showed in another one of her videos when she was doing the video on uh, using decoupage napkins. I'm going to stick this wee piece of ephemera in here. These are rice paper decoupage and that's a stamp that I did. I'm going to stick them in there to go over that page. I'd actually meant to stick it in the book before I started and I couldn't forget. Right, we're getting near the end here. Uh, Franken page, 
and just a piece of music paper and again so that you could do some notes on it I just added part of the guest check there and that's the page that I did that was to look like tea stained paper and that's the book so there you go uh, I'll be taking photographs of this in a minute or two and getting it put on to my Etsy which is Bygones Cards um, if you're interested, uh, have a wee chat. I'll put a link below once I've got everything filmed. Oh, gosh, I'm doing this up a little awkwardly because the camera's in front of me. Uh, closures, sari silk, and a kind of uh, deep burgundy. I can't tie that like that. I just need to tie that because the books are thick. just need to tie it and be double knot. Do it loosely. Right, that's us. Hope you like it. Um, Please leave any comments you feel are appropriate. I'm only too happy to have a wee chat with folk whenever they have time to speak to me. Sorry it's been so long since I was last on. Um, I really need to try and get my act together, but I find I get, I'm getting really easily distracted. Uh, we had the garden done recently and it took up an awful lot of time. Um, the only reason we got the garden done was because the dogs had been tearing it apart. And it's nice and quiet just now because I've locked them all out of the room to let me film this. I think it's... It, I hadn't really realised until I was watching uh, one of Patricia Viramonte's old videos the other day and her dog barked in it, which set off Timmy in here. And I thought, this is a nightmare. Because I couldn't shut him up. I couldn't stop him barking. Um, and I couldn't find the mute button in my remote control because I didn't have my glasses on. I only wear glasses for reading. And I couldn't see what button was mute. <laughs> so I sat there and I thought, you know, this this is a nightmare when somebody's got a dog. So from here on in, I'll try and make sure I don't have to uh, Timmy or Daisy in barking when I'm filming anything because it's just not fair to whoever's trying to watch it. Anyway, that's us. So as I said, leave a comment. Um, thanks very much for sticking with me. Thanks for uh, stopping by today. And if there's anything that I can... Uh, tell you about with the book if there's any questions you want to ask by all means leave me a wee comment and even if you must want to shout how you doing Moira I'm only too happy to speak back to you thanks very much for your time I'll see you all again soon well hopefully soon anyway thanks guys bye bye